naming numbers to hundred thousands. So now you guys are great with naming, say that number there. What you don't realize you're doing is that you're grouping that in a group of three because of the places. So if we have a look up the top here, we've got the units place. So this is our units, houses or family, whatever you want to call it. And it's just your hundreds and tens and ones. And then we've got a gap, like an actual box gap. In your grid books you'll need to leave a gap between the hundreds house and this house what have they all got in common yeah the word thousands so this is what we call the thousands here the thousands group okay so I know you guys are great with naming 631 what if I put a 9 in front of it what column is that 9 in it's in the thousands so we literally read it 9,000 631. No worries. Oh, I know what I can see here. See with the ones there, I've got a decimal place. In every number in your ones column, just after the one, there is a decimal, but we don't always put it in. So that decimal might actually be there, but you don't put it in. It just helps us when we sort numbers and name numbers when we've got decimal places, just bearing that in mind. Alright, so what if I have more than four digits? What if I have, oh, I might just try a different colour there. That's a bit difficult to see. What if I tried this number? So again, we start over here at the ones and I group my three. So remember, this is my ones column. I'm going to group my three there. You can see that's 468. That's no sweat for you. Then I come across with that empty box and I'm going to try and make another group of three. I can't. But that's okay, I just don't need to worry about this box over here. It's got nothing in it, so I don't worry about it. If I have a look at this number though, I can read that number. If I write it down like this, what is that number? That number there, 65, that's right. So it's 65 and all we've got to do is name it by the house that it belongs to, which is the thousands. So it's 65,000, then we just read this bit over here the same 468 all right I'm going to give you one more of those ones with five digits and you're going to have to go at naming it before I do okay what do I do first from the ones place that's right I make my group of three then I go across and I can see that I've got my gap between my hundreds and my thousands then I go over again can I make another group of three nope that's okay but I can name it based on that bit there. If I write that number down, that number is 37. So it is 37,000, because that's the name of that group. And then this bit's easy, 873. 37,873. Okay, so what happens then if we have another digit? I do this no different absolutely no different at all I start over here in the ones and I group my group of three like that and then I go across my gap and then I try and make another group of three and this time I can but that's not hard because I can see there a number see that number I underlined I'll underline it in red so you can see me do it again right there if I write that number down you should be able to tell me that number just on its own just this number on its own yeah it's 469 so that's no different it's 469 thousand and then I read this bit the same 271 469 thousand 271 do one more and you can have a go at this one in your head until I have a go. Hopefully you can beat me in naming it. Don't be confused by the zeros. They're still placeholders so they still count as part of that three. Seven hundred and thirty thousand. Now this bit looks a bit tricky, doesn't it? No, 
it's not really. Well, the only bit I can say in there is this bit, which is 68. So it's 730,068. Okay, in the next clip, we're going to be naming up to millions.